this video, we are going to see a problem on calculation of diameter of wrought iron rod. For that, here we have a question. A wrought iron rod is under a compressive load of 350 kN. If the permissible stress for the material is 52.5 Newton per mm square, calculate the diameter of the rod. Whatever is given here, I'll write that in the form of data. Now, here it is given, a wrought iron rod is under a compressive load of 350 kN. So load P is equal to 350 kN. So I'll convert it, it becomes 350 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. If the permissible stress for the material is 52.5 Newton per mm square, sigma is given. Calculate the diameter of the rod. I'll denote diameter by small d. Now, here I draw a diagram. We have a rod here, which is made up of wrought iron. This is the axis of the rod. And it is given in the problem that a wrought iron rod is under compressive load. So compressive load is a push type of load. Which is trying to compress this rod. Now, when the compressive load is acting, then there are chances of the length to decrease and diameter to increase. So this is the effect of compressive load that the length will go on decreasing and diameter will go on increasing. So we have to find out under this compression how much will be the diameter of this rod. This D we have to calculate. So, let us try to get the solution for this problem. Here in the solution, I'll say that since cross-sectional area of wrought iron rod is given by it is under the action of load and the cross section area under this action of load here we can see d is the diameter so area is pi by 4 d square next therefore area is equal to pi by 4 that value is 0 0.785 into d square next after getting the area here since it is subjected to compressive stress so i'll use the formula of stress that is since compressive stress induced in the rod is given by compressive stress is sigma c and that is equal to load upon cross-sectional area so therefore sigma c value is given as 52.5 this is the compressive stress is equal to load p is given as 350 into 10 raised to 3 Newton area it is 0 0.785 d square so therefore I'll shift d square on one side so here we have 350 into 10 raised to 3 divided by here we have 0 0.785 52.5 will go into the denominator. 
So from this, I'll get D square answer. It comes out to be 8492.57. Now this is the answer of D square. But we want a D, so I'll take the square root of this. And after taking the square root, my answer comes out to be 92.16 mm. So this is the answer. Now, if we look into the question, they were saying to calculate the diameter of the rod. And this diameter of rod we have found out. It is 92.16 mm. So the cross section will be 92.16 mm. So this is the cross section area of the rot iron rod. And once we have calculated the diameter, indicated the cross section area of the rod, we have completed this problem.